first, we are just hours away from a news conference after more remains were found at the former Cantrell funeral home about this case. A man who was working in the basement here at the former Cantrell funeral home on Mac says he discovered two boxes with ashes Monday and then yesterday two more boxes were found. Now the Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs is putting out a timeline explaining what they've discovered. It started back in August when an anonymous person called and reported bodies being hidden throughout the Cantrell funeral home. Laura says they did an inspection the next day and found a fetus in a casket on top of a table. All of the documentation was with it. The family was notified, but inspectors say the casket was not there when they shut the funeral home down in Asian of where the hidden remains were inside. That's when they found 11 fetuses last Friday. Jump to Monday. And I keep saying it's a black box that was in my way. So as I moved it over to the right, I happened to notice that it was the remains of uh, ashes of someone, loved ones that was uh, <laughs> basically thrown away like trash. A man working in the basement says he found two boxes with ashes in the basement under a shelf. Wednesday, two more were discovered. Names were attached, but no medical records. Lara says the ashes are now at the Verheiden Funeral Home in East Point. Those ashes, we've been told, date back to 1996. The new owner of the building has been doing renovations and plans to turn the former funeral home into a community center. He says this isn't the first time his crew has found ashes. I don't know, why would somebody keep ashes for that long from the family? He says a breakfast vigil will be held on the 27th to honor those counselors for anyone who might be impacted. The remains have not been. Press conference will be held at 3.30 this afternoon with the Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs. We're expecting to be there. On Detroit Seaside, I'm Naya Hardin, 7 Action News. Naya, thank you. We do have good news today for Detroit police. Right now, the mayor and the chief are announcing a ratification of a contract extension. It gives raises to all officers. It also restores key benefits lost during the city's bankruptcy. The contract ran through 2020, but the city reopened it to make the wage increases happen. A news conference is set to start any moment now. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner will have a closer look.